Nun. Right, good morning everybody, good morning. Welcome to another whitebait vlog. This might be the last few whitebait vlogs as we now uh, what are we up to now? Might be the 5th or 6th of October. So this one's going to be the last few vlogs, next few days. We've got some big tides coming. So big spring tides, 2.1, 2.2 metres. So it's a good time to come down and do some white baiting. The rubber's over there. There's the day. I've got my umbrella because it's supposed to be getting a little bit of rain this morning. Rubber's there. Hey, Rubber, how are you? Oh. So, this is our first time white baiting for a week. Yeah, for a week. Haven't been here for a whole week. Seven days. So, good morning. Good morning. So, expecting a little bit of rain today. So, I've got my umbrella, I've got my raincoat. Even a few little spits now. But looking okay. And then rain tomorrow, and I'm busy tomorrow. I'll be here for the weekend. We've got the biggest tides at all. Got the biggest tides, 2.2 meters. This must be vlog number 12. Can you believe that? Vlog number 12 already. I know that some people are getting a bit sick of these white bay vlogs. But for those who aren't getting sick of them, hope you enjoy this one. Some big spring tide white bait session sessions coming up. Sessions. White bait sessions are coming up. Anyway, got Adrian's in front of me. He's been there. Oh, Adrian's just over here. He's been here since about six o'clock. It's still a bit dark then. So we're gonna do our last few uh, days of white bait. Depending on after next week, how I'm going to go. The funny thing, I'm going to be too busy to do any white baiting at all. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video. Stick around, and let's hope we get some good catches of nice, clean white bait today. And then, and the little ones too. Go in, little ones. I'm oh, coming out now. Yeah. Let's check these. Oh, I just saw them going in. Oh, didn't go in at all. What the heck? <laughs> I thought they were going in my net. I was like this, I can see them going in, and it's like... But they weren't. They must have been coming out. Oh, nothing in that one. Well, that was exciting though. <laughs> Not many. I think, but... Haha, <laughs> oh, big buggers. Yeah. Yeah. The old silver bellies. About, about 30 or so. And really close. Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to put up my umbrella because we're getting a little bit of rain coming in now. So, I don't want to get my camera gear wet. So, umbrella goes up. It won't rain for too long, I don't think, but if it does, it will stay nice and dry. You got some? Oh, I've got some going in. Two. Two, I think. Two big buggers. <laughs> and nothing in the bucket yet. Must go home. That's my setup. Yeah, I can see how Adrian's. Ah, shit. Hey, Robert. You can see Adrian, eh? What's he up to? Nice. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. You won't get me to get under under the net, would you? Well, I got those when yeah. they first come down. There's a bit more current. That's a good idea, Adrian. Hmm. Yeah. How will you empty it out into your bucket? That's the next problem. Good idea, though. I'm going to have to try that. You're going to take that off there, so I've got a longer string, so it's not in the way. That's a good idea. Perfect. Does this thing go in or not? No. It's perfect height, that. Yeah. It is, because it's pretty... Um, like now, here, it's that far under buddy water. Yeah, look, you've got all that length now, all that length of your net. Yeah. Whereas mine's only about half of it. Yeah. That'd be a good idea to get up close that one, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look, pinching my weight bait. Oh, there's freaking birds and fish through the trout before. It's getting quite high. Right, come on, white bait. You can see the big tide already. It's probably another hour before full tide. Ah, shit. What was that? It was a trout. See that? See that splash right there in front of my net? Oh, it comes quite a few. Oh. When that water in front of my net was alive with them, I could see the the water moving around yeah. in front of my net, about three meters in front. So I got a funny feeling. Probably about a meter out. I just put my net and I can and I can see it all in one little area. So ooh. Oh, some big buggers. Heck. Look at the same one from last time, look like. Look at that. Some buggers. Rubber, right. Little shoal. A few little big ones, but a lot of little ones, yeah, not many. 20, 30. Finally, some for my bucket. Finally, some for my bucket. So I'll just film this first little show for you. It's not many, but you know, it's a start. It's a start. It's not many in there. Let's have a look. You can see. First little show. Half dozen big ones, but a few little ones in there. Rusty on their white baiting at the moment because they've been haven't been away for a while. Rusty.
Oh, I think. Huh. Well, I think there'll be. I thought I would have hit a few by now. But the, uh, a bit quiet at the moment. A bit quiet. Right, let's have a look at Adrian's. He doesn't need his waders on yet. Oh, he's going to get muddy this soon, eh? Yeah. It's hard to move too much. Just poke that into there, and then you get your rope. And you just get up this. Hold it up. Oh, you got a few in your bucket. Yeah. yeah. It's too bad. Like that. Sit down over here. Yeah. Put your bucket up here soon. And then float down past you and you pour them into your. <laughs> so we can put a screen off the air, Adrian. Yeah. Like that'd be something, eh? Ooh. Imagine that. Can, can be a low tide, but you hook something up. You need 10 buckets. Oh, oh my second little show. Yay! Now for our fritter now. Well, it was a long time between shoals that one. That's all I got so far. Yeah, this is what we got now. A long time between shoals. No. Not the biggest of shoals, but only for over an hour. And uh Bugger all. Third show for the day. Third show. Yeah, one, one big one on there, and the rest of them all, or a couple of big ones, and the rest are all what we're after. Um, not much, not much really. Right. So yes, as you can see, the tide is starting to go out, so hopefully we get some shoals on the outgoing tide. Yeah, a bit quiet today. A bit quiet. That's it for today. That is it. We'll check this bugger out. That's it. Long time between shelves, but there's a few, a few big ones in there, but mostly little ones. It's a bit of a hard day today. You know, white baiting's a bit hard. But we slowly get enough for a feed anyway. Which is what we're here for. But yeah, it took a while to kick off. Hopefully we're gonna get some more. Hey, uh, but the tide is fair hoofing out. And Alright. These big buggers. GoPro here. Whoa, it's all going now. These rowers, look. Look at them. Yeah.
So we are start getting some runs now. This is the first decent little shoal we've had for you know, second shoal we've had in a row. These are quite little ones. Okay, there's a couple of big ones in there, but mostly little ones. So that's the outgoing tide. Nothing. So Adrian's going home now, he said. He said one more if I'm going home. Been in the water about two minutes. Hello. He ticks. He ticks on you. My other one ticked that. On your nose. Oh, it's on my nose. Where's your stick gone? Where's your stick? Right, so I'm just going to pick up my bag. Gonna have one more lift and then that will be it for this session, white bait session today, not, not the best one, might have 20 grams maybe, and that is it, Adrian's nearly finished, he's had enough, and I'm right. so one more lift and that's us, and we're back in bugger raw but enough for a feed. Here we go. Enough for a feed. Enough for a feed.